<laughs> well, welcome everyone <laughs> to the Freddie and Woo! Alyssa show. Uh, this reminds me of 2017 Freddie and Alyssa show because we used to have just one camera before we had all our equipment. And we have our laptops and we have a camera, but our studio is no longer. It's uh, in storage and it's in the other Airbnb that we're going to on Friday. So let's hop into the episode. We're going to fill you in on where we're at uh, with everything in our life. It's and then crazy. <laughs> we really haven't had a chance to catch up today because no. we've both been incredibly busy. So we're actually just going to catch up with one another. And I think it could be a really fun podcast because we have so many new things going on in life and we always just try to either bring entertainment, inspiration, or education, and there's a lot that I actually have questions for Alyssa, because I like <laughs> learning about her new career, and uh, she had an amazing day today, and I can't wait to hear more about it. So let's hop into the episode. Welcome, everyone, to the Freddie and Alyssa Show. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that fun YouTube stuff. If you're watching on Facebook, be sure to follow the page, and if you're listening on a platform like iTunes, hello out there. If you want to give us a five-star review, that would be awesome if you think we deserve it. We've been putting up content now for four Four years almost, four years, and we appreciate you tuning in and also being patient with us during all these different times. Once we get set up, we'll be back on the <laughs> Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, but until then, we are making do because we like to come to you every single Wednesday with updates on what's going on in the world and in our life, and today is definitely what's going on in our life. But before, we, we'll create even more suspense because we have a, I almost said we have a podcast today. <laughs> <laughs> Things are going well already. Things are going well here today, guys. Ours, I think we have a sponsor. What is our sponsor? A word from our sponsor, my friends. Today's episode is brought to you by Harper Collins with the Lost and Found Bookshop by Susan Wiggs. Babe, I will take this one because I am the book lover. So if you are looking for the perfect feel-good summer read, look no further. Enter New York Times Best seller now in paperback the lost and found bookshop by susan wiggs so if you're wondering what the plot is babe oh i was just gonna ask you <clears throat> I, i'm definitely hold on, gonna hold, tell you um, <laughs> what's the plot Alyssa? <laughs> Okay, after her mother's death, Natalie Harper inherits a charming but financially strapped bookshop in San Francisco and becomes caretaker of her ailing grandfather. Books provide welcome solace for her grief and struggle. And People Magazine calls this book a feel-good family saga, a charming tale about the silver linings of unwanted detours. Oh my gosh, that sounds so up my alley. It is also perfect for readers of Jennifer Weiner and Emily Henry. You know, I think this is also a really great pick for book clubs. Yes. You know I love me a good book club or maybe just enjoying poolside, hanging out on vacation, maybe you're at the lake house, whatever it might be, guys. Or a hammock. Or a hammock. Or maybe a bed. A bed would be I, great, too. I read, but my requirement is hammock. <laughs> I must be in a hammock to be reading. I think the swaying creates the flow and keeps me focused. I like that. Well, if you guys are in a hammock this summer and you want to get your hands on this book, you can head on over to harpercollins.com. That is harpercollins.com, H-A-R-P-E-R, Collins, C-O-L-L-I-N-S.com to grab your copy of The Lost and Found Bookshop. You know what I just realized? Because this is a one shot today, um, people aren't used to seeing the other person when the other is not talking. And I am just an antsy mess over here. <laughs> because I, you don't know I, what to do. Yeah, you're always on camera, but we go live a lot. So I feel like that's a, um, it, this is like what it kind of feels like. You know what's funny too? I feel he's really feeling our energy because if you guys, you might even rewind this back if you're watching. He legit is so antsy. He, oh, you missed it because you were doing the opening. He almost fell off this chair because we have his blanket and I watched him almost like eat it, but he saved it. He's good now, but he can feel the energy because he's like, guys, I want to be on camera too. Say well, what's up, Benjamin? I don't even remember the last time we filled you all in on what's happening, but we'll give you a brief recap. <laughs> um, so we, uh, ha uh, our, our lease here was up on June 1st. So we thought Tuesday morning we were going to be moving. And about two weeks prior to moving, we said, well, let's just rent a place. We went through the process of trying to um, buy a home. That's a whole long story in itself. There's a lot that we learned in that process. So we're going to wait just a little bit, especially the market being crazy. It's not even guaranteed. We'd have to fight for offers. And we were you know, doing the whole pre-approval thing and being self-employed and learning that whole entire system. 
um, was really interesting. And so we're gonna wait. So we're like, well, let's rent. And what we didn't realize about what's happening with the renting out there in the world is there are many people because housing prices are going so sky high right now that some homeowners are cashing out going, I have $120,000 of equity right now. If I sell my home, I'm gonna get nine offers in three days after listing it. I'm gonna cash out, go rent for a year and see what's gonna happen. So all these homeowners are trying to get swipe up all the houses for rent. You have people from Jersey, New York, Texas, California, and many other states moving to Florida. And um, when they're in Florida, they're trying to buy a house, but there's like four uh, homes for every thousand, thousand person who's like looking right now. So all these people are being fed up, not being able to buy a home. So they're deciding to rent. And just the normal people who are just like, just living normal life before this whole thing, you know, where you just, I don't know, need a place to live. <laughs> right, like us, like that. we're just, no, like we're not trying to like, like make money in the market. We're just like normal people that yeah. just want a roof over our head. And uh, we put in a, not an offer, but a application. application thinking like, oh yeah, we've rented. To rent a house, mind you. Just yeah. a normal, normal, regular house. And what happened? Well, we've rented 17 times, so we're professional. So usually you just fill out the application. They say, this is great, and here's your keys. Well, uh, there were 12 applicants, yeah. and there are multiple applicants on every single townhome and house. So we weren't picked. Um, and so we were like, well, where the hell are we going to go? Uh, so I still don't know what we're going to do long term, but Alyssa's parents got a three-month Airbnb, and then they found their home, thanks to Alyssa, uh, and they're moving in June 11th. So they have from June 11th to June 30th in their Airbnb that's empty. So Alyssa and I were just gonna go kick it with them for a little bit. And we were moving our stuff over there on the first, just like all the little boxes and clothes that we would need. And Alyssa, we were driving home, um, swinging through McDonald's, getting a number seven, which is two cheeseburgers, a 10 piece nugget with sweet and sour and a Diet Coke. Or a regular Coke, actually. That sounds really good. Right when, now. when you're when you're moving and grooving, you just gotta eat. Gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so anywho, she goes. I wonder if we just hit up the landlords of this house and say, hey, you know, can we just stay three more days? Because what we'll, we'll get into today, it. because yeah. we've just been so damn busy. We're like, how are we gonna finish this in time? And they wrote us back the nicest message. And not only did they agree, but they said that we can be their guest and there's no need to pay. So they allowed us to stay for so three amazing. more days for free, which is giving us the ability to just finally check all these boxes that we need to. And then this Friday morning, we're having our couple suitcases, our, 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 our boy Benjamin, and we're gonna go um, seven minutes down the road to the Airbnb, yep. and we're gonna live with mom and dad <laughs> uh, for At a few days. 33 years old! Winning! <laughs> winning! Winning! No, but I mean, I feel really lucky that they have this Airbnb because if not, I don't know where we would be going. We have been searching. I mean, the thing is, I think with an apartment, you could probably find day of, um, hopefully. 100%. You know, you really could, but that's not what we want to do because for the first time in our lives, we live in a place that you can actually get a house to rent for the same price and you get a yard obviously for the dog you get Garage, a little more space driveway for my hoop yes his basketball hoop you haven't had one of those in for 15 years so we figure we go okay let's go to this airbnb my parents will be moving in 10 days into their house and we can have benjamin that time to really sit and figure out okay where are we going to live i really confidently believe that in 20 days we can find a place to rent Yes. To buy would be insane because you can't even close that quickly generally. But to rent, to at least just get our stuff, have our, our roots somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's kind of the plan right now. But in between all of that, you know, there has just been so much going on, I feel, with our business, with my other new adventure and career that we're doing. Plus, we're going to go see my grandma for her 91st birthday. Um, in what, two weeks? In two weeks, yeah. In two weeks, and he's going to Ohio, or no, you're going to Ohio first. Yeah, I'm going to Ohio uh, in less than a week and uh, to see family, and then we're going to come back for a day, then we're going to go to Missouri for your grandma. Yep. And and I, I think, I don't mind the whole moving around. It, it's, the, uh, it's the distraction that bothers me. 
you know, even today, like we had to spend extra time trying to figure out how to even do the podcast. Like we don't have yep. our normal equipment. We're yep. using different audio equipment. So I'm hoping it, it actually sounds really great. That's why um, it's coming out late too. Like we hate being behind schedule, but there's just been so much going on. Yes. That we're really trying to put everything quickly into a schedule. But once we have our roots somewhere, it's going to help. I feel like so much energy has been wasted on, how are we gonna do this? Oh, we have to move this today. The cleaners are coming today. Where are we putting this? Oh, now we have to bring stuff to the Airbnb. Now we have to go back to storage because we realized this didn't fit. Yeah. You know, it's been a lot of running around. So I think I can confidently say that we both are just ready to not have to run around, not have to move again. You know, I know we both really wanted to buy, but I think renting for our sanity right now. Yeah, there's just no. What we no, gotta yeah. do. It's what we so, gotta do. Yeah, so we're gonna do, we're gonna get that all, all all situated, and it's just so interesting. There, there's always been an energy about the world that when you're in the forward moving pace and there's momentum, it's a real thing. The same thing used to happen in acting all the time as well, where if you ever were booking a trip or going on vacation or you had like a crazy like life happening, that's when all your auditions would come. Yep. I, you know, you're sitting yeah. around, like there was like a two week period when she was studying that I was doing like all the housework and I was being the helpful husband. And I was thinking to myself, like I have time to do something else and there was just nothing those two weeks. And then now it's like we just got booked on someone else's podcast that we're doing tomorrow. I did my very first Instagram brand deal. Yes! Uh, that was a lot of fun. I posted it today uh, where I was in the pool. And that was really so fun. So handsome, so honky. Yeah, you know, I wanted to enjoy the, the pool while we have it. And uh, so it's just organizing everything, but that's just how the energy of the world works. But I, I'm really curious what is going on um, with with your career right now, because uh, to recap slightly on this, Alyssa just got her real estate license uh, May 13th or 14th, somewhere around there. Uh, after three hours of becoming an agent, you put an offer in for your parents and they their offer was accepted and they're closing on the 11th. So you successfully um, have, well, until they close on the 11th, but successfully created the offer and learned what it's like to work with a buyer and what that entails. And then today you had a meeting for a potential listing where you would be the seller's agent. Right. So what from the beginning, because there's many people who, are, who probably have sold their house or are going to sell their house or are going to buy a house at some point or know somebody who's buying or selling a house. What has the experience been for you um, when it comes to preparing for a listing for a seller? Well, it's wildly different, but it was so, so interesting to me because uh, the house was in Winter Garden. So a couple months ago, remember we were looking in Winter Garden, we were exploring, we were going to find all these new builds, but remember they were all bought up? Yes. And they kept saying, they're like, everything in Winter Garden is just completely gone. Doesn't matter where you look. They're like, a lot of people are moving up to Claremont. And so we always kept our eye on this area because it was just this beautiful, like up and coming family oriented community, which is really important for a lot of people. And so I met the most lovely couple. And luckily for them, back in November, they decided to uh, get a new build. So they've been working on it this entire time and their new build is still in Winter Garden and it's an upgrade from their house now because basically what happened is COVID hit and so their kids were staying at home doing their school. Both of the parents obviously were working from home and so they kind of outgrew the house a little bit and they also really wanted a pool because with COVID, you know, you couldn't really go anywhere. Yeah. So um, they decided to start building last November. Come to find out their house is going to be ready at the very end of July, early August. And they're like, so we want to get this on the market ASAP. So I'm like, great, this is awesome. We connected and we're like, well, let's meet up. So I instantly go, okay, let me do all my research. Let me chat with my coach. I mean, my coach, Charles, I don't know if I've talked that much about him on the podcast, but he's with my brokerage. And so basically when you're a new agent, you get assigned a coach and they help you along the way. You know, he has been just so fabulous. We really just align. Our energy is really vibe. Like he is. He was in awesome. Broadway. He was on is there, Broadway. Is there anything? <laughs> or, so you're, you're not in Broadway. You're on yeah, Broadway. You're not, how can you be in Broadway? You're on Broadway. You know, as my favorite comedian, George Carlin always says, uh, they say get on the plane. 
He goes, F you, I'm getting in the plane. Oh, no. Well, that's different, but on Broadway. Why do you get in a car, but on a bus? Why are you on Broadway and not in Broadway? Because Broadway is a street and you're on the street. You're not in the street. You're on you're the street. You're in the street. There is there is there is garbage cans <laughs> in the street. I guess there are, there is there is rain so, going. So as Freddie Smith would say, Charles, my coach, was in Broadway. And it was really Correct. funny. The, <laughs> the very first time that we went to the brokerage, I walked into Charles's office and I see all these playbills and I go. Excuse me, like I, this is such a great fit. I love Broadway. And he's like, oh yeah, I was on Broadway, and I was like, what? This is so cool. So long story short, he's been amazing, and so I really started doing my research because I love to go into anything prepared, and I was like, I need to have the best pre-listing packet on this market. I was like, I gotta do what I gotta do. So I spent all night just really figuring out what we had to do. My coach helped me, and what's really interesting and cool is that when you are selling a home, in order to come to that price of what you're gonna put it on the market for, you have to look at comparables. So other homes on the market that just sold or other homes that are selling or other homes that are pending. And what was interesting about this neighborhood that really helped the sellers is that there was no competition right now because there weren't other homes with the same specs as them on the market, which means really great things for them. So. Met this incredible couple today. We went and we toured their house and Charles came with me. They showed us around. We kind of went over everything, our marketing plan, what we do. And they were just so wonderful. So we'll know by tomorrow if it's a good fit, if we're going to partner up. Um, but I really love Winter Garden. I really love the neighborhood they lived in. Yeah. They said that they have, it's a really family filled community, like I said. And so they have like Santa Claus during Christmas and everyone's out trick or treating. Like they just really go above and beyond for yeah. all the holidays for the kids. So it was a great experience. I learned so much today. And I just, there's something about real estate like I just really love. It's it's cool. It's you're and this is what's really interesting for for our audience, um, especially if you've been following us since I'd say 2012 or 13. There, there's been there's been a few uh, fans and and uh, supporters and and friends who have been following our journey because when we started doing that web series together, when me and my friends wrote and created yes. it, and you were acting in it. Uh, that's kind of when our whole social media thing started about eight years ago, and we've done a ton of different projects throughout these eight years yeah. and this one with real estate I feel has connected with all of you in a very unique way because I think it touches everyone's home in some capacity Definitely. everyone's either renting or moving or living somewhere or understands what it's like to buy a home or sell a home yeah. and uh, I just love the outreach like there's been so many people who have been fellow realtors or people who work at title companies or people who are like oh my god I just bought a house there or I just moved there or even the girl we just uh, did a zoom with she was like I uh, I, I was just visiting my family in Orlando yeah, and Orlando is right. also such a place that's familiar mm -hmm. and I think that's another thing that's really worked well that people have taken a liking to in the sense that a lot of people have visited Florida. Like we didn't move yes. to like, even Denver is like a really cool spot, but I feel more people in general have gone to Orlando or somewhere in Florida. Disney World or all the beaches, you know? Yeah, I, I really feel like the... Uh, uh, another side note, because my mind's been racing. This is the first time I've sat down today to chit chat. So lucky all of you. Lucky I'm jumping from one thing to another. Uh, but I was talking to the two wonderful women who uh, came here to clean the place today. And we were talking about uh, days of our lives. And she heard that I was on the show for many years. Yeah. And she was like, oh my God, I used to watch that until the year 2000. And she started talking about all the characters. And she's like, Bo and Hope. And um, and then she mentioned Jack and Jennifer, and I think she mentioned somebody else too. But she's like, yeah, I, I, I uh, that, that's so amazing um, that you were on the show. And she was asking all these questions. And I was bringing up to her that not everyone, like let's say worldwide, 5 million people watch Days of Our Lives. Yeah. Um, so when you live in, in like the real world and you walk around, the chances of someone recognizing you or knowing you is pretty slim. Right. Um, where, whereas if you were on like modern family or friends, like yeah. that's such a huge thing, but there are also a million shows that are niche 
where someone will say, oh my God, there's the actor from this show. And I'm like, what's that show? With Days of Our Lives, <laughs> everyone that. knows it. And what even topped it off is that Joey on Friends was on Days of Our Lives and everyone's watched Friends. So if someone watched Friends or Days of Our Lives or knows somebody, you always hear that I watch Days, my grandma, I used to watch yeah. or whatever it is. And my whole point to bring it back is I feel Orlando, Florida is the Days of Our, days of our Lives is to TV is what Orlando, Florida is to United States. Like so Everyone many people, knows an, a lot more Orlando. people have gone to Orlando, Florida, may, maybe probably even more than Vegas. Yeah. Like New York, of course, Miami, but Orlando, Florida is one of um, five or six cities in the United States, but there's also the same kind of feeling of family with Orlando. Sure. It's warm. Most people live in the cold. They come here. It's warm. There's palm trees. It's Disney. I was a kid. I was with my family. This is where we used to go. Yeah. So there's something magical huh. about Orlando as well. And I kind of like we got here before the wave. Yeah. And like that was the perfect time to do everything. We waited till the masses, <laughs> but we, 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 you know, we, you just so happened to be, you know, born in Florida. So, but I uh, wasn't born in Florida. <laughs> you, you, she, she was, she was born in Florida. I, I was born in Scottsdale, Arizona, and then I moved here when I was four and I was raised in South Florida. But that was close. It's close. <laughs> We interrupt this program to give you a special sponsorship read by the beautiful and talented Alyssa Marie Tabit Smith. Oh my goodness. Thank you, honey. Could her name be any longer? Whoa. On that note, today's episode is brought to you by Orate. Orate is a fine jewelry brand founded by women for women, pieces range from classic to statement to completely original. Orate makes the jewelry you've always wanted, but you can never find. And everyone knows that my hubby and I love a deal. Do we love a deal, honey? I think everyone knows that I love a deal. <laughs> well, the good news is that Orate sells directly to you without the middleman markup, and they can offer the same quality as traditional Fifth Avenue brands at a fraction of the cost. And they also have insanely good quality. Because it's all real gold, you can wear it and you never have to take it off. So if you're out there running, like when I go running or you're swimming or you're showering, you don't have to worry. You're not going to get a green finger from wearing a ring. Yeah. You know how that can be? Not with this. You get to keep it on. And I was looking at their website and I got to tell you, I fell for these di diamond stud white diamonds. Why are you giggling? Wait, am I gonna get like? Am I gonna have to buy you some diamonds now? Are you are you using the sponsor to get a gift? I mean, I plead the fifth on that one, but she knows I'm on camera, so I have to be like, "Of course, babe, of course." It's not like you have a birthday or a first year anniversary coming up. I mean, I might. Well, I still so. have till I still have till New Year's Eve. Till so New Year's sometimes. Eve. Well, but anywho. Anywho, guys, with Orate, they were so kind to give our listeners 15% off. So if you want to go check them on out, you can go to Orate, and that's Orate, A-U-R-A-T-E, New York, dot com forward slash Freddie Alyssa and use promo code Freddie Alyssa for 15% off your first order. Again, that's Orate New York, A-U-R-A-T-E, New York.com forward slash Freddie Alyssa. Use code Freddie Alyssa for 15% off. off. That now what <clears throat> now back to the program. <laughs> Thank you, Alyssa Marie Tabit Smith. It was? Kind of. Arizona. Arizona's a cool state, too. It really is. Um, so I don't remember where I was going with that. But anywho, with, with yeah, with you and the, with real estate, it's been, uh, I want to thank you all for the, um, for so much love and mm -hmm. uh, interaction with it because, you know, we're, we're, we're new. Um, I lump myself in, you know, I don't have to take a test or pass a test, <laughs> but I'm, I'm like around. So I obviously can't say I'm a realtor because I'm legally not. But I do look over the shoulder. I help with comparisons. I was he up at does. 11.30 last night sitting with my notebook 
and it's my favorite thing trying to figure <laughs> out the square footage what's the square footage per uh, or port per foot and this bathroom two and a half bath but this one sold on this date what's this yeah. so i love the numbers aspect of it but um what was it like going to someone's house because when's the last time you walked into someone's house since the pandemic that is a great question. I feel like if this would have been a couple months ago, I would have been just like a little more anxious and nervous, you know, because I was a little bit um, not as comfortable going into someone's home. But now that we've kind of been out a lot more. It, so you're saying it two months ago, it would have been uncomfortable. But me, now yes. you're like, I've now, been out enough. And I'm like, like it was no like riding a bike. Deal. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you have an awkward like, do we hug or shake or elbow or fist pump? Because now COVID has added in the the elbow. I used to not it, know about this, this, or this. Now it's this, 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 or this. See, I haven't experienced that in the past five months. That was something I feel in the very beginning. You're like, hey, <laughs> what's going let's on? Let's just not. Yeah, let's not. Let's let's just pass over. <laughs> Remember the uh, wedding planner at the at our wedding, Sasha? What, what did he do? When we first met, I go, oh, he goes, he's it's just okay. Goes, it's okay. It's okay. I go, it's okay. 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 <laughs> but anywho, so, so anywho, did you like shake or hug or yeah, how'd you know so, what to do? I mean, I just went with my gut and we all had masks on and I walked up and I said, Hey, I'm Alyssa. And they, we all shook hands and they're like, come on in. And they see, they were awesome. They were just a really lovely couple. And so, you know, those kind of people you just instantly talk to, like, oh, you're great. like, Oh, this, you guys are awesome. You yeah, know? Yeah. Um, and their house was just so beautiful and just really comfortable. And they had really set it up because they wanted to make sure too with realtors coming to look at it that it looked you know ready to go in the market because yeah. there's a lot that goes into it they're like it's a big deal what do you think about because this is what was really cool so she is a online teacher and her students are in china so she wow. works just really you know crazy hours i think it's uh six to nine okay yeah and so she, oh 6 p.m to 9 p.m i believe so that would make oh, okay. sense correct i think so or is it 6 a.m. to 9 a.m.? Anyway. No, no, no. It sounds like the opposite. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So long story short, she has this really interesting window that she does, but it's kind of like a VIP school, so it's one-on-one. -on -one. So oh. she teaches one student at a time, but she had this entire corner in her house that, you know, has the stuffed animals, is fun, has the maps, everything you need. And she's like, I tried to like, you know, calm this down a little bit because her students love the stuff in the back, yeah. you know? Um, and she's like, do you think we need to change this? And honestly, like absolutely not. Everything looked great. They really made it just as, as beautiful as it because people are still living there. That's the thing yeah. too, you know, even in the closets, they made everything look great. I was like, y'all are living here. Like it looks really nice and really neat. So they showed us around and that was great to just look from the eyes of a realtor of every little detail because, you know, you kind of are looking for different things. So we did that. Then you sit down, we're just chatting comparables, numbers, marketing, what it is. And it really just was so lovely and cool to have just a great couple. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I would hope that most people are probably like that, you know, when they're trying to sell a home. But it was so interesting because right now they're going through that situation of, okay, A, we need to sell our house. Then if we sell it, we need to make sure that the deal goes through because they have another house that they're yeah. moving into. And there are a lot of different things that can happen, of course, that someone could be anxious about. But in this market right now, yeah, now's like the time. Things to... are looking real good. And so, you know, she was like, yeah, I just want to make sure that we're not moving our stuff into like storage and then we have nowhere to go. And I was just like laughing. Yeah. In my head, I was like, you have no idea. <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing right now. But it honestly was just such a great experience. And I, I've said this before. I love working with people again. I feel like it's been a while since I've really been able to have like that belly to belly yeah. type of relationship. And it's just, it, I don't know, it just does something for me. Well, and I think that's, that's the other thing I've realized. And I'm curious for all of you listening or watching out there too, like what your experience has been now that things are opening back up, because I know yeah. that we feel so much better, but, um, I definitely went through a weird phase of, of like acclimating myself back into society. Um, like even going to a grocery store. And I think when we, when we used to be a little afraid of people, yeah. I think everyone went through that. Everyone Not everyone, did. but like a, a, a large amount of, of people did. were kind of like, eh. So you, it was like this weird experience. And then being locked up, it's like Alyssa and I did not see anybody. Because even my family at home, they all stuck with each other. 
So they were still able to connect right. with other energies where Alyssa and I, I mean, thank God for our podcast and social media connecting yeah. with all of you. Cause like, I, I feel like what we're saying, we know people are listening and you're in, you're reading, com we're reading comments and going, you know, um, but when it's just the two of us, there's certain times that I literally feel like there's going to be security footage and Alyssa was never real. And she's a figment of my imagination because we're so on the same page and you don't get what you get hanging out with your parents. Like when I genuinely am talking to your parents, when I ask them questions, I don't know what they're going to say. Yeah. You and I, thank God we build stuff together because right. our entire conversations are always about like work and fun and like play, but you and I know everything. So about I never have another. to say like, Hey babe, what's your opinion? Like even if something in the world happens, we already know. I know how she's going to react. Like I know everything and it has been so nice with my parents visiting and my dad yeah. coming here. I can't wait to go home because that was the biggest perk yeah. of moving to Florida is that I, I like I'm hopping on a plane. It was two. I bought a ticket for $230 round trip, nonstop nice. Orlando to Cleveland, Cleveland to Orlando for $230. I bring just a backpack and um it's a two-hour flight they yeah. say 230 but my dad just did it and it's about 159 uh two hours 202 bad. something around there and it's the same time zone which for anyone who has traveled through time zones from like new york to la <laughs> it messes you up so i love the fact that if i take off at 10 a.m i get there at 8 45 i land in Ohio at noon and I'm in my parents' house at like 1.15. Not bad. So it is like five hours, same time zone, and I can't wait to just go back and forth all the time so I don't miss birthdays. I don't miss 4th of July celebrations. This year I have um, some family coming down uh, But you're in July. also going to your goddaughter's first birthday. Yeah, oh, and, and Mila so cool. who's, uh, you know, I can't, how, how old is Mila now? Like three maybe? Three or did she just, no, she just turned three. Yeah, she's not four. She's three. She just turned three, yeah. and then Juliana's turning three in October. Yes. So these and then are our other friends, uh, Mike and Ariane, their daughter, Ava, just turned one, one today. today. Oh my and gosh. then Lauren, her son, turned he one. He just turned one, and she has another baby one coming. Two on the way. There's just so many babies. So many babies. Your, one of your best friends, Sarah. She um, just gave birth. Oh, she's probably like, what? She came right around your birthday, so yeah, like a she almost days. landed on the greatest day of the year, <laughs> and she was about twelve hours short oh, of March nineteenth. So that's what two months later, April? No, almost three. Yeah, so there's just a lot. So like there's only like six of us left in the whole sphere that does oh, not have. What's about to have? Yeah. Do we know if it's a son or a daughter yet? I don't. No, we don't know we yet. We don't know. I don't think he. I don't think he. They know yet, or they know. I guess do they? To me. Yeah. Well, you should I'll have to hit him, him up. His birthday's tomorrow. No way. Brett's birthday's no, it's tomorrow. Not. The yeah. third. We'll yeah. ask him tomorrow. Yeah. Say, hey, happy birthday! By the way. Are you having a boy or a girl? <laughs> Men are so different when you guys like communicate. It's just so different than women. <laughs> he te he texted me and goes. Uh, he goes knock knock. I go who's there? He goes Kim's pregnant. I go, Kim's pregnant who? <laughs> and then he just goes, LOL. And then I go, that's awesome, man. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Where girls are like, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, guess what? <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I was his, I, I was supposed funny. to be his best man in his wedding, but that that his wedding was the wedding we went to Ohio when our crack accident happened. <sighs> Crazy times. So it was three days before his. Uh, his wedding, and then I still wrote a best man speech that his dad read. Did you ever watch that video? Yeah, they have a video of it. It's on my computer somewhere. But he read it, and uh, so I, I just like Brett. wrote it. Yeah, but yeah, he's in Ohio. Our our great friend Mio's yeah. in Ohio. I have like so much, so much family in Ohio. So my whole point to it all is that I'm really love being back out there and even like the littlest things like i'm obsessed with going to the grocery store driving around yeah. looking at areas getting to know florida talking with people like i was shooting the s with um shooting with the, the two s? wonderful ladies we say now shooting the s keeping it pg uh and it's it's just nice i just didn't realize i, I, I chalked myself up to a wet blanket but i'm i'm you're not i'm not i just got into a weird place um 
rounding out 2019 and then the pandemic happened and then I just got like a little weird like of of I was so content at some at one point of just not interacting and not being out well but I miss it and uh, I'm glad that we're getting back into it because because this is kind of a lonely business of course like when we take photos or we're doing like it's just all it's just email yeah you know what I mean which I love yeah I I don't know I'm just saying it's not a business where you're like where we run a cup, cupcake stand. Right. Where you're like seeing people all the time. Like this is all internal work from home stuff. So I almost feel like this is probably what homeschoolers are like. If you homeschool your yeah. kids, it's like it's convenient. You can teach them kind of how you want. But you have to find programs or activities to go interact yeah. with other kids. Just like we need to enjoy this and go interact and go go canoeing. Go do stuff. Go canoeing. I, but wouldn't it be nice to get out? Because this is what's just interesting to look at back when pandemic first hit i remember reading this beautiful quote and i will completely butcher it but it basically was stating that i cannot wait for the day when we're all able to hug again in person and we're there are lines out the door at restaurants but we're happily waiting because we're all so happy to be there it was just basically showing us that when it happens again, I'm not going to take things for granted because I love that human to human connection. And I'm truly 100% feeling that. Like even when I went to that foreigner concert, I told you there is this woman who was just like, I've never seen someone so happy. She was hugging her friend and just people couldn't believe like, like we're back. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's ish, but I know I definitely think we are. I mean, all the restaurants that we've been going to now are packed and you know what I also realized is how much money we saved. Mm-hmm. Like anytime you go to lunch and you grab like an appetizer and even if you grab a drink with tip, you're looking at 40, 50 bucks. Oh, yeah. So if you do that twice a week, that's like an extra four or 500 a month right there. I know. So that's when the pandemic saved some money. Pandemic. But I would rather. But listen, it's, listen, it's you fun. also got stuff delivered. We did a lot more delivery than ever. Like food, groceries. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I don't know. It just feels nice. It feels really good to be out there again to have a bit of connection safely with yeah. people, following protocols, doing what you gotta do. But it's just nice. Like you, I feel like I missed it so much. In general, yeah. it just feels good. So. Well, we're we're back. Yeah, we're back at it. Um, and then you know. Once we get a second to kind of take a deep breath here, we'll, we'll have some more uh, kind of, you know, more schedule because I, I'm, I'm like ready. Like I, I have never felt so um, just because there, there's times in life where, where you're where, where you go to bed and you're kind of your your mind's kind of empty and you sleep and then you wake up and you're like you kind of have a right. putteringness to you. Lately, the past, the past couple few weeks, weeks. Like, oh I'm, I, I like can't shut my mind off until like 11 and then I'm exhausted and I've been getting to bed before midnight, which is amazing. I like my yeah. favorite schedule is like 1130 to 730 yep. seems to be perfect. But I, as soon as I wake up in the morning, like my alarm was set for eight or eight twenty today. And you were up at seven thirty. I was up at seven thirty, but I couldn't cleaning. go back to bed because I was like, I'm gonna clean. Yeah. I want to go over these numbers. Like yeah. I'm excited. We're excited. Yeah. And uh, and so I have some some really you know, and I hate doing this, but I just I have to say it because people are used to me. If any, if I, I have my to mind. say it or I'll pass out. I have to say it. <laughs> Most likely. Uh oh. Most Uh-oh. likely, I'm you never know. What I don't. I'm I have no clue what this could be about. Most likely, I'm gonna add a playlist to YouTube and Facebook. Most likely, called "Learning to Cook with Florida Fred." Ooh. <laughs> so. <laughs> That sounded like a fire alarm in a building. Wait, what's the thing? I, I, I what, what's what? No. Well, there's bah, 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 and then there's boom, boom, boom. No, it's, that's not what I want. I want the first one. It's that's, exciting. That's, I like that's that. That's the Price is Right when they land on, oh, no, like when they no. go over, they don't get the car. <laughs> I meant the exciting one. <laughs> 
burr, burr. Florida Learning Fred. to cook with Florida Fred. So um, when I'm in Ohio, I'm going to bring my camera. Uh, me and my dad are going to cook the what I'm coining the Big Fred because I want to slowly start creating a menu. But I have to learn more than just throwing ingredients together, even though I like that. I do want to learn recipes so people can follow along. And I would love um, in like a month or when I start getting this together, uh, if, if you have any fun recipes, um, if there's any family recipes that you want to share. And I just want to pick and choose and put together, maybe cook like a bunch of dishes and then find my best ones in the next year or two. You know, if, I, if this is that. something that really uh, takes off and I really enjoy it, but I want to learn to cook better. So that's why I'm calling it learning to cook. So I'm not going to come off as some expert, but I'm going to learn to cook so people can cook long. I can go live sometimes. And, um, and the one that I'm going to, there's a couple I'm going to cook at home, but uh, I want to cook the sauerkraut burger with my Ooh, dad in one of so them. Good. And I want to call that the so Big good. Fred. So once we have a menu one day, the sauerkraut burger will be called the Big Fred. Oh, and uh, so, so but I want to get ahead of schedule because there's even times like today where we're so late on posting this because they're it, just literally. It's, yeah, it's hard, because time. we have to have a better schedule, but our life kind of doesn't allow it's, for that right now. Yeah. But I want to record like three to four episodes and bank it. So that when I do announce it, like let's say every week in July, I've already edited, uploaded, it's just unlisted and it's scheduled all of July. So this way, the whole month of July, I can find other days and always stay a month ahead so that I never, because you can't just throw together a meal. Like that's going to be no, way more hard to do, but but we're, we're trying to figure out how to expand with YouTube so that we can um, start putting together like... For instance, Monday is learning to cook with Florida Fred. So every Monday at six is a cooking video. Every Wednesday is the Freddie and Alyssa show. And then every Friday, we're gonna try to figure out what the real estate uh, aspect's gonna be. Yeah. Whether it's exploring different cities, whether it's sharing um, you know, what it's like to study for a test, but do some sort of educational yeah. real estate Fridays and then have our members podcast on Sundays. So that's going to be like a really full plate to focus on. It'll all blend right into to real estate, into our podcast and everything else that we're doing. Yep. And uh, it just feels really good. So that's why I'm kind of bouncing off the walls because we dabbled. We were trying to figure it out. We even almost started a book club, um, which is still not off the table, not but it, table it kind yet. of bumped down on the priority list. Um, but uh, eventually. So we just want to yet again keep you up to date. So yeah. thank you for following along and uh, let us know. I, I really pray that this audio is good because we just kind of winged it, but I hope it sounds this good. This is how we used to do it before. And I got to tell you, yeah. every time I look up, I feel like I'm back in that Pasadena apartment and it's 2018 because this is exactly how we used to do it. But I have heard and seen through a lot of comments, people will be like, why don't you guys look to camera anymore? So maybe you like this. Maybe this know. does work. Yeah. Can you give us uh, Let your us feedback? Know. Let us know what you think <laughs> of, of the two shot. Uh, do you like this? As, a, as, a, as an occasion, would you like it potentially permanently mm -hmm. or do you like how we the always podcast, have done it where, because yeah. we would obviously would build a set differently. There are podcasters who do one shot, but it's done, you know, they're not just at a table. We'll make it look we could make it look pretty, but like, let us know your, your honest feedback of um, if you, if you, or if you're indifferent, because if, um, if people are indifferent, to be honest with you, this is so much easier to edit. I know. And the reason we did a, a one shot today is that I, it's already 7.15, and if I had to edit back and forth, we wouldn't You'd get this up. So I have a shot at getting this out by 9 o'clock tonight. So that's why we did just one shot. So let us know, and, um, and then we'll keep you up to date. But our next podcast will be through Zoom because I'll be in Ohio. Oh, yeah. And, uh, but I'll, I'll do some stories and stuff and take you around Ohio again, because it's, it's so beautiful in the summertime and in the wintertime, but I like the summer better. So anywho, <laughs> thank you all so much. This is going to yes, be the last podcast in this Airbnb, oh. but we'll be on a zoom next week. And then we'll be in this other Airbnb for a couple weeks. And then hopefully we'll have our own place to rebuild the Elise. studio again and just be back to normal <laughs> and, uh, and just working and having some fun. So we appreciate you all have a fantastic week and we will see you next time.